When you signed up for Spotify for Creators, formerly Spotify for Podcasters or Anchor, you wanted to test the waters and see without spending any money if you actually enjoyed podcasting. But now you're realizing you need more. You want more control over your show. You want better analytics. You want to make sure your show will remain in your ownership and have great monetization options and so much more. So you're ready to switch and you're wondering who should you switch to? RSS.com is an amazing platform that has everything I just mentioned and so much more at an affordable rate. So today I'm going to show you how you can move your podcast from Spotify for creators to RSS.com super easily. Let's dive into it. Hey everybody, my name's Joe Casabona. I'm the evangelist here at RSS.com. And today I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to move your podcast from Spotify for creators to RSS.com. Let's dive into it. Okay, so you can see I have a show here on Spotify for creators called Late to the Party, and I wanna move this over to RSS.com. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is get my RSS feed. Now that's kind of buried, right? There's a lot of platform specific features here, but if I go to settings and then availability, we can see that I have the RSS feed right here. If you don't see this, you'll probably see RSS distribution and then you have to enable the RSS feed. So go ahead and do that and you should instantly get an RSS feed for your show on Spotify for creators. And once you copy that, you're going to want to head on over to rss.com slash switch. Here you'll have the opportunity to switch to rss.com now and enjoy six months free of our hosting. So you'll paste in the URL of your RSS feed here and click switch my podcast. Then you'll enter the email address that is associated with this podcast. So we'll click let's go. So once we do that, we'll get a list of what we can expect next. So we'll send you an email to verify ownership. We'll import the data from your show. We'll send you an email for final approval, and then your show will be available. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you'll need to do to make sure the import happens. First, you'll create an rss.com account using that email address, and then you'll save your card information. Don't worry, you won't get charged until you're free trial, your extended free trial is up, and you need to verify ownership of the podcast by putting RSS verify at the end of the description. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go back to our podcast in the show settings under about, and I'm going to add RSS verify here and then save. Now it'll be up to the customer experience team here, rss.com, to review the import request. That shouldn't take too long, and then everything else will be very smooth sailing. Now, once the migration is done, you'll get an email letting you know that the migration is done, how many episodes were migrated over, and then your new RSS feed, which you'll need so that you can redirect your old Spotify for creators feed to your new one. Over in your rss.com dashboard, you will see the show. And if you didn't grab the RSS feed from your email, you can simply click the RSS feed button. We make it very easy to get the RSS feed. So once you do that, you'll want to go back to your Spotify for creators account. So once you're there, you'll want to go to settings. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of the about section, you'll see an area that's labeled redirect your podcast. And so you'll put the new host URL in here. That's going to be your rss.com feed. And then you'll click redirect. It'll ask you if you're sure, which I'm sure. Then you'll essentially be taken to this screen since you're no longer hosting a show. If you host multiple shows, you might see something different. And if you click the X, you'll automatically get logged out. But now your show is fully hosted on RSS.com. Now, since you are redirecting from Spotify for creators to RSS.com, your current subscribers shouldn't notice 
anything different. They should be okay at least for a while. It's possible that Spotify could decide at some point to delete your show or delete the redirect. So the most surefire way to make sure your current listeners keep getting your episodes is by putting out a little announcement episode. Let them know that you switched to RSS.com and that there is a new RSS feed that they'll need to subscribe to. Include that in the description or the show notes and then go from there. If you want to do that, again, that URL is rss.com slash switch, and you can get six months free by switching to rss.com. I'm Joe Casabona. I'm the evangelist here at rss.com. And if you have any questions about what we offer, our feature set, or switching, definitely leave a comment below. And if you liked this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you out there.